All right, fear. Don't fear. Don't fear. We got the machine here. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Is out there in television land and the internet. Michael Hurdle here from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio once again. And today is another exciting day for an unboxing of another helmet. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Elijah from Rurock for blessing me with this helmet. And look, it's the machine helmet, RG1DX machine helmet. It's the exact same size as my fear helmet but now it's the machine. So I haven't opened it yet, and I'd like for you guys to tag along with me and, and open it. Let me give you a brief little history of what's going on while I open this. Um, if you look at my last video, uh, like I said, I don't like doing unboxings, but I did it. And uh, I had a little bit of a defect in the helmet. Uh, make a long story short, Rura contacted me and said, hey man, we don't like the fact that you got a helmet and we always strive to have great customer service. So I said, okay, Rurak, what you gonna do? And Elijah said, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send you another helmet because of all the pain and suffering you've been through. And I was like, Elijah, you really do have a biblical name because you sound like you, you were sent from the heavens. <laughs> so anyway, on a more funny, on a more serious note, I happened to get my hands. Uh, uh, come on, come on, bitch, come on. Mm on another helmet. Oh. Now let's open this bad boy up and see what we got in here with our feist impressions. The feist impressions. Let me put that off to the side because I'm f***ing excited. I'm excited. You know, this came all the way from the UK and it only took overnight and I didn't even pay for express shipping. I have to look at the calendar. Is it Christmas yet? I oh, don't think so, because it sure does feel like it. All right. Oh, oh man. Oh, you smell. Oh, it's like, it's like fresh uh, car smell when you walk into the car. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, the machine. All right, let's see what comes out the box. Okay. So of course we have the bag with the goggles. We're gonna open that in a sec. Oh my God. Oh. Damn, Rorock, you stay impressing me. Damn, Rorock, you stay impressing me, bros. Let's pull out some of the material inside of it and see what we're working with. See if there's anything different that uh, that came in this setup here. Same as before, you have the packing material. You are here. You see, what I like about this Reco technology is that if I don't use this for snowboarding or, or, or doing anything snow related, but if you did, use this helmet for snow related items and you get caught in an avalanche this rico or reco technology however you want to say it tomatoes tomatoes it will save your life so already the money's worth it the money is worth it already let's see how, if it's hard to take this off for the first time oh man it's on there oh, okay okay good so they got the action cam mount right here only thing about it is, is that they don't have that little nut there. But like I said before, I understand why they don't have that nut there to screw in for. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Like right here. Like when you plug the GoPro Hero 7 Black or any GoPro or any action cam out, you see the little nut that this thing's supposed to screw in? It's nothing there. So I have to put my own. And then after a while, I end up losing that nut. Or So Rurak, in the future, when you guys... When you guys upgrade your helmets, man, I would love to see some type of flat nut there or something. So you can at least put my GoPro Hero 7 in there. But is that a deal breaker? It is sure not. It is not a deal breaker. Um, still has room to put the shock mount, or shock wave, I should say. Bluetooth headset. I like the way it's feeling already. Feels nice and padded. Of course, like a brand new car. Look at the design. Let's just get a look. Roll rock right here. Look like it's been like drawn out or spray painted or scratched in like it's nice i like the design it almost looks like it's scratched up but it's not scratched up because it's, that's just a design thank you elijah from real rock and thank you to your entire crew for actually putting up with me and you guys love my videos i am so happy that you guys didn't get offended when i um when i was doing the unboxing and the first impressions of the other helmet this bad boy right here that's my baby um so just a backstory. the helmet was kind of messed up. This one right here with the imperfections on the side. Raw Rock decided to send me another helmet to replace this helmet. Um, and here we are, the rest is history. Oh man, the design is nice. Uh, looks good. 
the, the, the artist who actually designed the artwork for this helmet, I commend you, whoever you are, whoever you Rurock used. Now let's see if we still have the magnet clip because I heard some of them didn't come with magnet clips, but we still have the magnet clip that could. Now this one feels a little different from, oh, that's what that was for? Get out of the city. That's what that was for. I was wondering, when I when I opened the packing material, I was like, what is this little rolled up thing for? It's for the chin strap. Damn it, now I know, I have that thing in the other box. I'm about to chin strap this bad boy right here. Woo, all right, so out the box. Let's see, just so we'll know what we got. Wait, we got the bag, of course, for the Rorock helmet. We got the mask. Ooh, look at that, yo. Ooh, that mask is looking sweet. And then we have the bag for the helmet. Let me put you in here real quick so we can know what that feels like. Because we ain't going to put you in here. This time, I'm actually going to put you in the bag when I go places. And then we have, let me see if the goggles can fit in here, too. And the helmet. Let's see if we can put the whole shebang in here. And then... See if we can go around with it. Okay, good. That's all right. All right. I, I can deal with that. It got the nice Rorock logo on it. That's good. So, so far, my first impressions of this machine helmet. Ooh, sweet. Rorock, yo, like I said before, Rorock, they make some dope helmets and they ship some helmets quick. This helmet was shipped from the UK on Thursday and it's here on Friday. How on earth are you, are you guys doing this? What are you guys using a teleporter? to teleport the helmets to the United States? It's impossible, it's almost mental. Anyway, now let's open up the goggles bag, the little separate bag that comes with the goggles. All right, so let's just see what's in there first because I feel something else in here. Is that the padding on the inside? Oh, snap, real right, tell me you got a little pocket in here. So, oh, okay, let me see what these goggles look like. All right, do they look like my other goggles? They basically look like the exact same goggles, but that's cool with me. Let me see what this looks like. Ooh, <laughs> now that looks good. I got two cameras set up here, so excuse me. Okay, so we got the goggles, the standard goggles. It looks like it's the almost the same exact goggles that I'm using here for this for this helmet. It looks almost spinning identical, but it's okay because you know goggles are goggles. This time you gotta handle your goggles with care. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna snap these goggles in so I can see how they fit. Perfect fit. They have a little lining in the back here so when you are uh, sweaty, it won't slip off your face. And just having this here will be good for the helmet so it won't slip off the helmet all the time. So, the moment of truth is almost here. I gotta go ahead and put this on for the first time before I mosey on out of here. So far, my first impressions, very impressed. Very impressed. I'm gonna leave this on here just because I don't wanna take it off yet. I gotta be mad careful putting this helmet mask on so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna lock it up back here move this out the way because you gotta do it right hook that into the back of this hook here very gently lift it up so you won't break anything because ain't nothing worse than just getting something that you so rush in to, to take care of it you snap it off and you break it and you gotta send it back here we go boom 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 oh okay wow Wow, that fit is snug, oh man. And this latch is a lot better with this little hook thing on top of it. Oh man, that looks good. That looks good already. And it matches my blue Mr. Rogers sweater. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, boy. The mask feels nice and solid. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. I know sometimes when the other one doesn't snap, you can always hold this down and it'll snap. But don't force it. Let's do it again. It could be a little bit, uh, it could be a little bit, a little bit of problems putting this mask on for the first time. So you got to make sure you know what you're doing. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. Finally, it got on. And now the goggles. Oh, oh man, this one feels so different. It feels different from the fair helmet. This one feels like it was actually made for my big old head. That's what it feels like. And let's see if I can now take, because the mask is a little different. I'm noticing that I have a little bit more playroom right here. So let's just see if I can uh, plug it in. All right. Oh, now see this one, 
This one fits a little differently from the fair mask. Look at that. Let's let's do a quick spin around, okay? <laughs> I know I might look funny, right, doing that. <laughs> funny. <laughs> look at that, yo. But yeah, this is what it looks like right here. Hmm. Fits like a glove. It feels great. Let me see if I can remove the lens while it's in my, uh, while I have the helmet on. Nice. This one, this helmet feels a little different from the fair helmet. Uh, probably because it's new and the, and, the, and the foam is right and everything is in the right place. But I'm not going to front. I'm actually happy with this. And thank you. I commend you, Rurok. You guys are stand up with your customer service, with your communication, and of course, sending me this machine helmet. Man, this is nice. I'm impressed. And I wish it wasn't raining right now because I would actually go out for a spin on this boosted board, man. Damn, you can't even lie, right? Rurok makes some really nice helmets, unique. They have this one particular look that you know it's a Rorock. The moment you see a Rorock helmet, you already know it's a Rorock helmet. Uh, if you're snowboarding with this and you fall under an avalanche or you get caught, they have the Rico technology or Rico technology that will be able to find you. It's like a little machine. They go The helmet is like, hey, I'm here. Come save this guy. He paid too much money for this helmet. Don't let him die like this. Anyway, <laughs> my name is Michael Hurdle from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio, rendering your imagination. And I'll talk to you guys the next time I do an unboxing. Bye.